Hi and welcome. I am Gaetano Santina, dance coach and the founder of this exclusive online training program. And I give you welcome in this new free video lecture. In this lecture, you will watch what Jonathan Crossley teaches directly in Iska Happy Training organized by Mr. Jerry Abrata. So, I remember that uh, if you put off your phone and uh, relax a little bit to watch this video and tell to the people, do not disturb for um, half an hour, you will watch this video and learn fresh information to put directly in your dancing. So, watch this video, enjoy, and bye-bye. Thank you. Hello. Is it on? Is the microphone on? It's on. Hello. Yes, okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, it's okay. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. So, thank you very much, Denise, for that very kind introduction. Um, yeah, today we're going to um, relate the subject to the slow foxtrot. Um, but today's uh, lecture stroke workshop is all about you and your partner. Okay. So the idea is today we're going to, uh, or I'm going to talk to you about some points that's very important concerning yourself and your partner. Now the, the, reason, the reason for talking about this subject is because I feel very strongly that at the moment in ballroom dancing and also Latin American that not enough couples are dancing together. It seems to go very solo at the moment in ballroom and in Latin. So I want to talk to you about some of the points that I believe is important in order to make a successful partnership. Okay. Some of you must understand that in order to make a successful partnership there must be an equal flow of energy between the two people. Therefore this creates a shared function, a 50-50 function. If the flow of energy between the two people is incorrect, for example the man is too dominant and the woman is too negative, we're going to get a slight conflict of intentions and this is, this is not very good. For myself, when I was dancing, when myself and Lynn were dancing together, uh, most of our dancing was based on partnering, okay? And what we try to do, we always try to show a very strong man and woman partnership. We always had to feel, it was very important for us, that we had to feel in harmony with each other. All of the time. This didn't always happen, but this was our idea. So, what, we're gonna, what I'd like to talk to you about today is four, is four main areas, okay? One of them is vision, okay, vision, so looking, seeing, okay. The second one is touch. The third one is weight, and the last one is space. So that's four areas we're going we're gonna to look at, okay, just to confirm. The first one is the vision, yeah, the second one is the touch, weight, and space, okay. And we're going to talk about this, and we're also going to go through this with each other. And although the today's workshop is, is related to Foxtrot, for sure if there's any Latin people that want to participate with a little bit of rumba or a little bit of Foxtrot, yes, then for sure we can apply the same, same principles. Um, okay. Before, before we look at these four points, in order to make a successful partnership, we, we, we've got to know our partner. Yeah? Now this might seem quite strange, but it's very important that we know our partner. Yeah? Now, for example, uh, when I first uh, got with Lynn, when I first started to dance with Lynn, uh, Lynn's previous partner was very tall, it was Augusto Schiavo, who was very tall, and my previous partner was Kylie Jones, she was quite short. So, I was used to dancing with a short girl, and Lynn was used to dancing with a very tall man. 
So, the first thing I noticed when I danced with Lynn, the first thing I got to know about Lynn's dancing was how powerful she was. I was quite shocked. It was quite scary. How much she could move in comparison to how much I could move. And then Lynn would say to me that she found, that she, one of the points she got to know about me was the rhythm was very different. My rhythm was very different to her previous partner. And what we discovered is we got to learn lots of things about each other. So, for example, what Lynn was good at, what myself was good at. And the idea is that we talked about that. Now, how many of you in here today ever talk to your partner, for example, about what they like, he does, about what they like, what they feel is their strength, what they feel maybe is their weakness, yeah? What types of steps they like to dance, how they like to dance them, how do they want to look, etc. How many of you ever spend the time to really, really get to know your partner? It's a good point, yeah? You think about it, it's a good point, right? One of the re and we, we see this many times, yes, in that, particularly in competitions, when you get a new partnership, when a new partnership forms together, generally that is some of that partnership's best dancing. They get good results straight away. And I think one of the reasons is because they're learning about each other. They're taking each other's advantages and they're using them. Do, do, you, do you understand a little bit? So it's getting to know each other. And that's something you do very naturally at the beginning of a partnership. But it's not something natural when you've been with your partner for two or three years. You know, because in two or three years, things change, right? Yeah, you hear new music, that gives you a different experience, okay? That could maybe steer you in a different direction. So, I want to leave that idea with you that maybe at some point in the future, in the next week or after this dance camp, you go away and you talk to your partner about what you like, what's important to you. And remember, it's probably going to be different to each other, but that's good, yeah? Because that brings more ingredients, shall we say, to the partnership, okay? I'll just tell you uh, uh, just another little point that I think is quite important here as well, is that you must always remember that in your partnership, it's very likely that you are very different to your partner. You will have a different personality, okay? Now, for example, Lynn and myself. Lynn would like to practice for 45 minutes, yeah? And I would like to practice for two hours. Okay, so we had to respect that and understand that. We had to meet somewhere in the middle. For me, I always had to learn, it was important for me that when I learned, I had to try to have fun when I was learning. This for me was very important. If I was too serious, then generally I didn't learn. And I never knew that, I never knew that until very late on in my career. I didn't, learn, I didn't understand that. And one time I was, I was actually in Japan and I had, went to see a, I don't know, a special doctor, some kind of healing doctor. I thought he was a bit crazy, but he said to me that, he said, Jonathan, you are the type of person that only learns when you are having fun. And I thought about it, I thought, yeah, that's true. That's really true. Whereas Lynn, that was not the case. Yeah, she didn't need to be having fun in order to learn. But again, it's learning about each other, yes? And trying to find, if you like, a common ground where we both agree, okay? So, it's not just learning about your partner, but it's also learning about yourself slightly, yeah? Asking yourself a question. How is it, how, how is it you like to practice? How is it you like to take a lesson? Etc. These are all very important ingredients in making the partnership. 
This is at points that we don't see when we're on the competition floor. Okay? They're very personal points, but you need to search and discuss them. Okay? So far okay? Good. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to now move on to look at these uh, four points that, that, I, that I suggested. Now these are only four points, okay? There are so, so many points that we could discuss in order to make a successful partnership, okay? But I believe that these are four very important points that are slightly overlooked in today's dancing, okay? Now, we're going to talk about the first one, which is vision, which is looking, yes. Now, can I have a volunteer? Who wants to come up here with me? A lady, not a man, sorry. Come on, who's going to come up? Anyone? Come on, yeah, look, come on then. Are you Latin? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> right, can you do ballroom as well? No. No, okay, right, okay, well we're going to, okay. Right, well look, we're going to try, yes? Okay, so don't worry, we're not going to move. Okay, we're not going to move, right, okay. So, come with me. So we're going to talk about vision, yes, first of all. Now, this is a really common mistake at the moment, particularly in ballroom, yeah? It's very common, yeah? So vision, I'm, I'm not looking at her whatsoever, yes? I'm not even paying any attention to you, okay? So, for example, this is very simple, but so important, yeah? Okay, vision. Let's look where we're going for a start, yeah? So maybe have a little look at her here. So there is a, already a little connection, yes? And we go on to the floor, place. Maybe I will look at her, yes? But maybe I will say to her, okay, there we go. Ah, oh, lovely, yes? So... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks very much. Yeah? yeah. Okay. So this is a really simple point. Yes. This is really dead simple about the vision. Okay. Uh, can I borrow you? I will take. Yeah. Take. So I'll come back to you later for later. Can I borrow you from it? Is that right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now. Okay. Let's take vision a little bit further. Okay. Now, if I place you in, in, on the floor. Now. I, before I dance with you, I want to look at you. Yeah? I want to look at you. And quite often, before the dance, I would stand and look at Lynn, and she would look at me. Okay? And our focus, I'm not just looking at her eyes, but I'm, I'm just looking at her. That's it. And then, when we come into position, that vision can invite our partner to position. Okay? So, for example, if we do that one more time, yeah? So I'm very aware of her, I'm not doing all that, yes, yeah. I've got this vision with her, that focus, yeah, there we go. Maybe I want to look at her when she comes, maybe I want to look at her. Maybe there's some awareness, there's some awareness through the vision, yes. Vision in itself is also a connection. I'm okay, of course I'm, I'm not touching her, but this vision is a connection with each other. And again, it's very important. Yeah. Just go right there. Okay. Let's go back to Latin girl, yeah? Right, sorry, I'm not going to talk much about Latin, yeah? But the, you know what? I'm going I'm to say, it. right, let's do a bit of rumba, yeah? Okay. Okay, so that's vision. This is what loads of Latin boys do now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Now, he's not, I've not looked at her once, right? Can I borrow you? Because you, you're the partner, yeah? Yeah. All right, okay. And then we'll do a boring one, right? Could you do that step and do not stop looking at her? Just keep looking at her. Don't stop looking at her. At any point, keep that vision on her. Keep it on her. Look at her. Good, continue. Good, continue. And now continue looking at her. Nice. All right, thank you. Give them a round of applause for that. All right, well done, yeah? Okay, all right, so that's just very briefly about vision, yeah? Right, let's go on to look at touch, yeah, touch. Okay, I don't understand this, yeah, but most of the people I teach don't want to touch each other. Seems quite strange, yeah? 
Okay. Uh, can I? Oh, it just doesn't matter who I borrow. Can, can I borrow you for a minute? Okay. So now we're talking. We're going to talk about touch. Yeah. Okay. In ballroom, yes, we're looking for touch through as many areas of our body as possible. Okay. So here, I am. I am not holding her. Okay. I'm touching her. If I was to do that, that's holding. Can you feel the difference? You can't see it. Okay. I'm not holding her. I want to. I want to touch her. I want to feel. I want to feel her skin. Yeah. This is very important. So, generally in ballroom, yes, our first point of contact could be one of two areas. Okay. It could be any area really, but we're going to generally relate it to touch through the body and touch through the hands. Okay. Now, for example, the first thing I want to do is just touch your body. That's it. That's it. That's all I want to do. First of all, just touch your body. That's it. Now I'm touching her body. Okay. Now, can you see how simple that is? I don't know if you can all see that right. I don't know if you can, yeah? But again, I'm just going to touch her body with my body. I'm not holding. So again, this is such a, a, a bad mistake at the moment in Borum Dancy that the man will, will either pull in his centre here, or pull it in, and he's not hold, he's not touching her. Everything is held. Okay? And what I'm looking for is the opposite. I'm looking for touch. Now, I'm looking for touch through the body. I'm looking for a touch through the hands. It doesn't matter whether you do that, thumbs, or whether you do that. It's not important. But what's important is that there's a touch here, that there's an equal flow of energy through the hand, through the fingertips. Yeah? We don't pay enough attention to this element of touch. I, ca I can't really speak, sorry for Latin, I'm talking really important. We do not feel this enough. We, we underestimate how important touch is. When I'm, I'm touching you now, right? You can feel, yeah? But we underestimate this feeling so much in ballroom dancing that we lose beauty. The beauty just disappears, okay? So, if I take a hold with you, for example, yes? Uh, the first thing we've got is a vision. That's the first thing. So I want, to be, I want to be aware of her, and I want to look at her, yeah? Just like I used to say to Lynn a lot, Lynn, can you just look at me? It's not difficult. Yeah, just look at me. What are you looking over there for? Yeah? Just, sorry, can you be the man? So, if the, so and this is what the girls do in Bourne, right? Yeah, they're like that. Well, no chance. You've got no chance, yeah? I mean, if I'm the lady, you're the man, yeah? Okay, I try to do it as well as I can. First of all, the ladies, I want you to make a, a, a visual contact with your partner, yes? So you've got visual contact, okay, sorry, <laughs> visual contact. As you come into position, the head will go to the left, okay? What I wouldn't want is, oh, let's just do it, man. Come on. Yes? Okay? So, what we're looking for is that visual contact, yes? I will offer her my hand, there's the first touch, yes, I lead her in with the hand, and the second touch is body, third touch you can see here is my arm, here my forearm, that is touching her, it's not holding her, it's touching her, yes, fourth touch is my hand on her back, and the fifth touch is her hand on my shoulder, there's five touches there. Yes, yeah, so much detail just in touch alone. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, all right, so that's vision and that's touch. The third one we're going to talk about is, I'd like to talk about, is uh, weight. Okay, body weight. Yeah. Uh, my teacher, uh, Janet Gleave, said to me many years ago, that as long as I lead my lady through my body weight, she will follow. Even, for example, if I did the wrong footwork, or maybe I took the wrong alignment, 
as long as I'm positive with moving my body weight, the lady will follow. I thought that was quite interesting. It's quite interesting. But I didn't really understand it at the time. It just sort of took time to, to, to sink in. Okay? I didn't realize, I didn't really understand how important body weight was until I danced with Lynn. Okay, because with my previous partner, it was uh, a little bit different style. It was maybe more about effect, not maybe the real, it wasn't really the real thing, what I did with my previous partner. It was, it was okay, but it wasn't the real thing. It was only when I got with Lynn that I started to experience the feeling of moving two bodies together in synchronization. And then I realized that there is nothing better than that. There's nothing better. There's nothing better than moving two bodies perfectly together. Because I feel like I've experienced both in my dance career. I've experienced the side where it was about tricks, a little bit tricky, rhythmical, etc. And these points are relatively important. But they do not beat body weight. They do not beat dancing two bodies in perfect harmony. And that must be the same as well for Latin. Yeah? I would hope so. <laughs> okay? So, I uh, little quick story here. Um, when I first uh, danced with Lynn, we had a few days practice. And then we went for our first lesson. Uh, with one of our teachers, that's a very top teacher, very well known man. And I was very excited about the lesson. I was really looking forward to it. We'd practiced the night before and everything felt fantastic, felt really good. So we're going to the lesson. A little bit nervous, okay, but also looking forward to it. And I remember we danced at Foxtrot. It was terrible. Just, it was just terrible. I couldn't believe it. I was just didn't know what to do. And I knew from the teacher's reaction that it wasn't good. <laughs> yes. And the first, he didn't say anything. He just said nothing. Just nothing. Oh, Christ. So, he said, Jonathan, he said, can you dance Foxtrot for me in social hold? Okay? Just dance in social hold with each other. Correct, yeah? Just dance social hold in Foxtrot. So I thought he was crazy. I thought he, he's, this man's lost the plot. What is, what's he doing? Why is he, make, why is he making me do Foxtrot in social hold? I didn't, I didn't know, so I just did it. And uh, he made me do it for about five minutes. So I did it, okay. And then he said, okay, Jonathan, right now, let's do your routine again. Show me. I did it, it was totally different. Just totally different. And that was because our body weights at the beginning of the lesson were not together. We were held. And then after we'd done the social dancing together, suddenly there was a warmth of the two body weights moulding together. And that made it work. Yeah, there were still loads of points wrong, but it made it work. And from that point on, I started to really understand how important it was to use body weight, to have body weight in the correct position. Okay? Now, can I um, just borrow somebody for a minute? I'll borrow you. Is that right? Do you mind? Thank you. Okay, so, so we've looked at vision and we've looked at touch. Okay? It's very difficult, in a way, to separate touch and weight. It's quite difficult. Yes? Because if I don't touch her, it's very difficult to have my weight connected to her. Okay? And vice versa. If my weight is connected to her, I am going to touch her. Yes? So, when you're dan you don't know me very well, and I don't know you very well, okay, so how are you going to follow me? Ask yourself a question. Through weight. Yeah? You cannot follow me through space. Not correctly, anyway. Yeah? Not correctly. You could follow me through space if everything is locked, okay? So if everything's locked, she can follow me through space. But again, that's just not the truth, yeah? So the only way you can follow me really is through weight, yeah? 
So if you just touch my body, you don't know what we're doing there, but you're, straight away you're listening to the body, yeah? So you don't know what steps we're going to do, but the D, good girl, good. You're just following weight, yeah? Following weight, look at that. Oh, look at that. See? <laughs> Sorry, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you're just, you're just following weight. And the more you can tune into that with your partner, the more in harmony that you are going to become. Okay? Clear? Okay. Right. The last point that we talked about, that I wanted to talk to you about, was about space. And notice it's the last point. Yeah? Okay, because like I said, you can't lead. You can't really, that's not the right idea to only think about space. Space is very important in today's dancing, like it always has been important. Yes? I find that many people in today's dancing interfere with space. They manufacture space. Do, do you understand that word when I say manufacture space? Yes? Both the man and the lady at the moment. There seems to be this fashion uh, at the moment that the man wants to be the lady in ballroom dancing. I don't know if anybody notices that, but I see so much. Can I borrow a partner? Can I borrow you again? It's all right. I see so much that space is manufactured. So, for example, if I was to do a natural term with you, you ready? This is going to be a bit crazy. This is not going to be good. Okay? But let's have a look at this. Okay, let's get this right. Okay, ready? Okay, so we manufacture the space. We're going to manufacture that. And we stay here. Now we're going to. Ooh. Ooh. Yes? So we're manufacturing this space, and it's awful. Thank you very much. Oh, actually, no, you stay here. Thank you. Yeah. Can you see that? There's, that's manufactured. It's, it's false. Yeah? Okay. So, when I talk about space, I'm going to offer you a very simple idea. Okay? I want you to become aware of space. I don't necessarily want you to think about making space. I want you to become aware of space. So for example, if we take hold, let's say me and you are going to be now aware of our headspace. Aware. We're not going to physically do, do it, we're just going to be aware. Where is our headspace? with each other. Does that, do you understand that? Okay, so we'll take a nice hold for a little vision, a bit of touch, touch and wait, and we're just aware of where the head, so if we did a natural turn, good luck, yes, we'll just be aware of the head weight through the natural turn. That wasn't too bad, was it? Wasn't too bad, yes? So you can see, we're not trying to manufacture space, but we're trying to maintain, we're trying to be aware of the space, okay? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Give her a clap. She's a bit nervous there. Yeah? All right. Okay. So now, okay. I, I, what I'd like now is I'd like us all to try this, if that's okay. Yeah. So come onto the floor, and we're going to just go through this, just one subject at a time. Okay. And the first one we're going to be looking at is the vision. Okay. Is vision. Um, let's have a little look. How many have we got here? Okay. Yeah, okay, right. Just take a little bit of space in the floor. And the first thing that we're going to be really aware of, just stand opposite your partner, first of all. Just stand opposite your partner. Okay. Right, now, I want you just to look at your partner. Just look at your partner. Don't look at me. I know I'm quite handsome sometimes. <laughs> just... Have a look at your partner, look at her body, look where she's standing, okay, and pay attention to that. Okay? Right, okay, so that's nice. Look, they've, they've got touch as well, look at them. They're on the second point already. <laughs> okay, all right, now, 
The next point, okay, just relax now. Okay, just relax. Okay, relax, young man, relax. Okay, so the second thing now we're going to look at is touch. Yeah? Touch. Not holding, but just touching. Yeah? So, did you know that your, you have so many nerve endings in your fingertips? Yeah? You have so much feeling here in your fingertips. So they have got a touch. Yeah? How strongly or firmly you touch, that's a personal matter. My advice to you would be to not have too much. If you have too much, then you can result in a very stiff feel. Okay, you have to find the right amount between you. And we'll, I'll give you an idea about that in just, just a moment. But can you now just stand opposite your partner, okay, and just feel the touch. Lead her into position, yeah? Lead her into position and just feel the touch. Okay, so with those fingertips, connect those fingertips and then touch each other with the body, okay? In your own time. And so touch her, touch the hands, now touch the body. Okay. Now try to feel the difference between touch and holding. We don't want to hold, yeah? It's just touching. Okay? So just feel that touch. Feel the touch in the fingertips. Good. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. Just relax. Okay? All right, relax. Now, does that feel different to any of you or not? Feel different? In the hands. Yeah. Okay. All right, good. Okay. So, first two points relatively simple. Quite clear. I think maybe quite clear. The next one, body weight. Okay, weight. Yeah. Okay. Now, can you, just to give you the feeling of this weight, can you just dance socially with each other? Yeah? In a social hold. Okay? So, no, no arms up in position, just very, very small hold. Okay? And just feel that you're going to social dance around the room. Okay? So just feel the bodies, no stress, no stress. Okay. Okay, all right, good. Okay, guys, now, can you, now, that's good. All right, now, can you just be very aware of all those three points, yeah? The vision the touch and the weight. It doesn't matter here where you, where you hold, where you touch your partner. You can touch her anywhere. You can touch on the bum if you want. Yeah? Okay? <laughs> yeah. Look, he's smiling now. You can do anything, yeah? All right, okay. Go on. Do you want to get up? Come on, you can do that if you want these Latin. But you can do rumba if you want. It's up to you. Yeah, whatever you want. I don't mind. It's, yeah. Oh, right. Sorry. Thank you very much. That was quick. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yes. Nice. Very good. Okay. So, let's just put all these three points together. Still in a social hold, yeah? So, vision, touch, and weight. Okay. So, let's here, we're trying to create an equal flow of energy from one person to the next. This is ultimately what we're looking for. If you feel one of, one of you is holding, that's no good. If you hold anything, you cannot touch it. There's a big difference between hold and touch. There's a massive difference. Okay? So, can we try it one more time together? Yeah? Okay. Alright. So, we've got vision, and we've got touch, and weight. Okay, in your own time. So we're searching for that equal flow of energy between the two bodies. Okay? And so nice touch. Small hold, social hold, or yeah, nice and social, nice touch. Okay, now here we go. Just moving round the floor. Feeling an equal sense of touch and weight. Listen to each other. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Good. Okay, guys. Right. Just relax. Okay. Just relax. Now, can we just look at that now in your dance position? Yes? In your dance position. Now, this is sometimes where you can, sometimes this is where you can lose that, that feeling. Yes? I remember that once my teacher said to me, which is a really good idea, it, you want a nightclub feeling, nightclub feeling with a modern day look. Okay? Do you understand that? So a nightclub feeling, yeah? With a modern day presentation. Okay? Right, let's have a look. Go for it. So pay attention, stand opposite your partner. Let's go for vision. Let's make sure we've got vision. Then we've got touch and then we've got weight. Okay, in your own time. Good. Okay, now if you want to, you can do a little bit of a few steps. It's up to you. But don't lose that sense of touch and weight. The sense of touch and weight. Oh, nice. That was very good. Okay, right, guys, relax. Don't, don't kill each other. You've got more lectures to come. Yes? Okay, now... Did any of you feel any different there? Any of you feel any different? Yeah? Good. Okay. Because I have no time left, we're going to just go on to space. Okay, the last one. And we're all going to dance a natural turn. Okay? So, we've done vision, touch, weight. That was very good. Now, can you be aware of the head space? Aware. That doesn't mean artificially, ladies particularly ladies, that doesn't mean artificially making that there, okay? That's not what we're interested, okay? That's going to be a conflict of intentions here, okay? Shall we try it? Let's go for it, okay? Right, so take a little bit, get a little bit of space, and we're just going to try a natural term, yeah? And again, go through that order, yeah? So take a little bit of space. All right, okay, so first one, vision, yeah? Okay, second one is touch. So feel that touch. The third one is weight, okay? Good, so now you're really tuning into touch and weight. Touch and weight, good. And in your own time, through the natural turn, you're aware of the head space. Just aware, just aware. Okay, all right. Okay, guys, all right, well done. That's very good. Very good. All right, okay, everyone relax. Maybe just relax, sit down a little bit. And um, <clears throat> Okay, so, like I said at the beginning, yes, the, the idea of this lecture, this lecture stroke workshop is to try to give you an insight into partnering yourself and your partner. Okay? Just very briefly, just remember those points. Yeah? First of all, I said you've got to take time to know your partner. Yeah? Get to know your partner. Even if you've been with her for 10 years. Yeah? Maybe take some time and talk to each other and get to know each other because I guarantee you what you wanted at the beginning of your partnership for sure is now different yeah so you need time to get to know each other and then remember those four points yeah so the vision the touch the weight and the space now those are only guidelines okay this is only a guideline there are of course other elements that you'll need in order to make successful partnering, okay? But I, I believe this is not just relevant to Borum dancing, what I've talked about, yeah? For sure it's not. It's got to be uh, related as well to Latin, yeah? And other forms of dance, etc. So, uh, I'd just like to take the opportunity to thank you all very much for listening to me. Thank you for giving me a chance. <laughs> and uh, thank you, was it? Jerry, oh Jerry's not here, thank you Denise for asking me here, thank you very much. All right, I'm sure you enjoyed these great lessons from uh, first Slavic curriculum and second 
Jonathan Crossley. You uh, learned a lot of information from the best coaches in the world. So now I have not finished the surprise for you because I have another present. If you just wait for the next video, I give you another surprise. So uh, keep in touch and stay tuned. Bye bye.